What you are about to experience are sights and sounds from our final 24 hour push to finish our self-driving vehicle. It's day 100 and here's how it went down. Thank you for the fun time we've had. Most of our pay to keep us safe and even more so pray to get the honor and glory from all of you. Christ. All right. With some coffee and donuts, we're off to a pretty good start. Our primary goal for the day is to write code for our lateral control. We also want to install a heavy duty suspension, fix our air conditioning airflow, install door hinges, mounts, motors, and wiring. And finally, vehicle testing. As long as they're all the same, that's the only thing that matters. Right? So we got 12 like these special hinges to make. Uh, we want them to be all as identical as possible. So you made a jig here, and these are going to get cut, and there's going to be a bar that gets welded here, so that we got, you know, they operate exactly the same. As long as there's not a lot of slop in the hinges and the way they're made, it's gonna, I think it's going to go together really well. So, but you got to do the same thing, and you got to do it inside of a loop. Somehow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that. Okay. All right. This should be flipped around on this side. I don't know. Because otherwise, what's going to want to do is going to want to actually turn this way. Put your seat down for you. You're going to go. How are you breaking these glasses, man? <laughs> very touchable. It's like it's the third part. pair, isn't it? <laughs> hey, how, are we touching the floor? It's a lot of L words in here. Yes, you can leave. What? In your belt? Let's go with that. that number. <laughs> I have a 175. What are you? 175? 175 is a tight school. We're at 44 in the corner. What matters is this mounts wherever this this needs to be finalized somewhere, and then the door needs to fit on here. Our first main hurdle comes when we find out our door mechanisms aren't aligning perfectly. All right, we're about one third of the way through. So the ride height works a lot better. We put the heavy duty suspension on. Uh, that resolved that issue. Also resolved uh, the air conditioning. I've been working on the lateral control. I got one half of it written. Uh, the other half should be straightforward, uh, but we haven't tested in any of it. <laughs> This is your controller input. The other one's the, the angle, the, the range. Yeah. Right? This one's travel angle, that's range, that's 40 degrees. Yeah. Hey, can you put that in there for me? Somehow I messed up this hinge. We can just zip that off and we're done. Problems are gone. Yeah, just cut that off. Cut it off. With a few adjustments, we're ready to try out the door motor. So uh, we're about two thirds of the way through our hundredth day. Uh, we literally have been up since 12 a.m. We actually accomplished actually quite a few things today. I wasn't expecting to get done. We had a lot of help. I was able to write all the software for lateral control uh, with the exception of actually 
the COM ports because I need to actually check on the vehicle which COM ports are being used, uh, by which uh, sensors, and I need to I need to make a couple uh, updates, transfer all the software to the computer, and then do some tests there. Hopefully that works. I have no idea if it'll work, but um, I'm hopeful that maybe we can get maybe just a little a minimal amount of performance out of it. That would be awesome. There's a storm blowing in, and we're running into a major problem. The communication ports are not being discovered correctly. What is that? I don't know. I got a blank USB plugged in that's not connected to anything. That's five. What's the sixth one? The Xbox controller. The Xbox Xbox didn't show up on there. That's the Xbox One controller. I wouldn't worry about this. Uh, that USB service device, COM4, that's the R2 that I plugged in. Before we yeah. The Xbox is still a problem. Well, I mean, let's just try to solve one problem at a time. Give me a screwdriver. I need a flathead. Yeah. Okay, so you need to get this, like the outside edge, this part, and then all the white stuff off too, which should come all off in one piece. Because if one is missing, We've discovered one of our Arduinos has stopped working. To solve that, we will bypass the main Arduino. I don't really can't do anything until we... we you have, have to have an Arduino. The Arduino is what... The so Arduino is, is how we control the vehicle. All right. Uh, Okay. We're up against the clock, but we're still going to attempt the test run to show basic autonomous function. Once this loads, we should... Okay, we got numbers. That's good. Is that, let's check to see if this one's running here. We could try it. I mean, what do I got to lose? I don't know. to go around a circle, it probably won't happen, but you guys should probably head that way. What, is it picking up stuff? Well, we gave it a good try, and I think uh, ran into a lot of weird problems, not really sure what they are. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know, you guys, what do you guys, you guys got any thoughts? We did end up getting the vehicle working a few weeks later. With a few tweaks to the code and LIDARs, the vehicle now demonstrates some basic autonomous function. So we got a small little test area, take a couple trips, and then uh, we're going to use this nice little dead man bracelet, and uh, we're going to use this bolt to press the X button for us. And luckily for us, we have a remote pill switch, which works really great at killing our system. Come on, you can do it. <laughs>
<laughs> My dad told me, you can do anything you set your mind to. Throughout this project, family and friends have told me, you can do it. Henry Ford put it this way, whether you think you can or can't, you are right. Edison said 99% is perspiration and Yoda, do or do not, there is no try. While I have to agree with them all, what I have learned during this project is that encouragement and help from family and friends motivates more than willpower alone and outworks the best of work ethics. Well, 100 days and some, I don't know, mission accomplished. Can uh, steer around a path and stop for pedestrians and I'm sure there's a lot more work to do, but uh, it's what we set out to do and uh, took more than 100 days, but not many. <laughs> I feel like we've reached our measure of success on the project. It's been a wild ride and I want to thank you for joining us along the way. See you on the next project. Mm -hmm.